Hi, David Gerard here. I'm at the Chaco Culture National Historical Park in northwestern New Mexico. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And we really don't know why. Here it is 10 hundreds that this was built. And Bonito had kivas all over the place, great kivas. And we think that that position was located right to see that rock out there for how to view it. was in the perfect location. They didn't want to cover it up with walls and materials. They wanted to have it exposed for that, that south direction. So, so as you're looking for how to view behind you, well, what this picture points out, there's the ramp on the right side. You see the plane? In their day, they built that, and they built it. They went all the way up, almost continued up to halfway up the butte there. And then they followed a trail around the south side. And uh, on the top of the butte, up here where this arrow is on my picture, but the whole top ring around the top has a lot of evidence of someone actually living up there. Uh, maybe two or three people. That was a significant sun-watching vantage point. Well, it happened to be up there in the 70s looking at this kind of stuff. Look at the markings on the rock. We have a whole crew of people that go around and check on the rock art to see if it's not getting damaged. And of course, a lot of people were going up there in our time. Uh, you could get up there in those days. So in the June of 1977, a crew was up there, just happened to be the summer solstice. And they climbed in behind these three slabs, which are up on the left, top of the left, up there, that first major uh, uh, perpendicular line at the very top. There's some slabs like this right there below it. And while they were having lunch, they noticed the light come through and split a sundial, which was behind those slabs. Now we knew the sun, we knew the dial was there, but we had no idea that the sun would come through and split it like But I want to close with a poem by a Pueblo poet by the name of Simon Ortiz. He comes from Acoma Pueblo. So it's called Land and Stars Are the Only Knowledge. North, west, south, and east, above and below and all around, within knowledge of the land, we are existing. Within knowledge of the stars, we are existent. By this mess, northern mountain, we live. On this western peak, we live. In the southern canyon, we live. Upon this eastern mesa, we live. Under the sky above, we live. Above this earth below, we live. We are existent within knowledge of the land. We are existent within knowledge of the stars. All around and below and above, and east and south and west and north, this is our prayer. This is our knowledge. This is our source, this is our existence.